Scene, a beautiful Maori village narration. Cheerful Maori music playing narrator. In the Maori village, there's an ancient legend known as the Sleeping Giant's Place. Scene changes to a plain narrator. Long, long ago, there were no lakes here, only an evil giant named Matawu. Scene switches to the Maori village narrator. In the nearby Maori villages lived a Maori princess named Matakari and a Maori boy named Manada. They were deeply in love. Scene shifts to the chief's hut narrator. However, Matakarui's father, the chief, strongly opposed their relationship because Manata had not yet become a true Maori warrior, and he came from a rival tribe. Scene changes to a hilltop narrator. One day, Matakari was kidnapped by the evil giant Matawu and taken to a magical bushland atop the hill. Scene switches to the foot of the hill narrator. The chief offered a handsome reward to anyone brave enough to rescue his daughter, but no one dared except for Manata. Scene changes to the hilltop narrator. Monata found Matakari, but they were trapped by the magic bushes. Their tears broke the spell, and they successfully rescued the princess. Scene shifts back to the Maori village narrator. Upon returning to the village, the chief was overjoyed and agreed to let Monata marry his daughter. Scene changes to the lake narrator. However, Matawu the giant was still alive. Monata returned to the hilltop and, while the giant slept, set a fire that ultimately destroyed him. Scene switches to the lake narrator. The fire created a huge crater, and water filled it, forming what is now Lake Wakatipu. The lake experiences regular tides every 10 to 15 minutes, like the giant's heartbeat. Scene shifts back to the village narrator. So, even though the giant was burned, his soul remains in the lake, giving rise to the legend of the sleeping giant's place. Music, gentle closing music narrator, and that's the end of our story, kids, did you like it?